I love mathematics because I can go to many places just with my mind and affect the reality around me. The thrill of discovery uh, is what drives me most. My name is Raúl Tempone and I work in uncertainty quantification and applied mathematics. What we do is we assess the quality of, of solutions. We try to understand efficient discretizations, that is, approximations for models. I mean, we talk about continuous time, continuous space. These are what we call differential equations. We need to assess what is the level of errors that these approximate equations will entail when approximating the continuous evolution, essentially, that we want to, to, to describe. Raúl Tempone is a numerical analyst. That is to say, he researches how you can make predictions for highly complex and, at first sight, chaotic systems, such as the movement of crowds of people or the weather. And what error rates you have to expect? The biggest challenge? The many accidental variables. Numerical analysis tries to make these uncertainties calculable. For example, predicting the wind. Tempone compares the data measured in the past with the predictions. What was it predicted to be like? And what was it really like? Well, you, you want to somehow make a model of how accurate the predictions are. Because once you have this model for the so-called error, you then can pass this to the people that have to act in the future and take decisions. And then the decisions, that is the optimal decisions for minimal power, will be robust with respect to the errors that you can have in the wind power uh, prediction. Measurements of highly complex physical phenomena, such as the wind, give us seemingly infinite amounts of data. Mathematical models predicting these phenomena can be very concise, but usually require computer-aided approximations, so-called discretizations. The task is to analyze the error in the predictions. Since 2009, the Italian-Uruguayan mathematician researches and teaches at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, KAUST for short, in Saudi Arabia. KAUST is a small community, um, very research-oriented. Essentially, the whole city is for the university. Um, all your sort of mundane problems are solved, so you really focus on, on research only, and this provides a lot of you know, focus and energy towards research. Uh, Family-wise, it's also uh, something that is very friendly to kids. Yeah, I would say it's, it's very family-oriented, I would say, and uh, mm, very Western, too, surprisingly. This island of science in the middle of Saudi Arabia is a project of the late King Abdullah, who wanted to bring local students into an international environment. Raoul Tempone is now moving to the RWTH Aachen, where he hopes to profit from the Institute's size and variety. I think this, is a, this recognition is very humbling and, and actually brings a lot of opportunities, in, in, uh, research-wise and, again, education-wise. I think Aachen has a fantastic set of faculty, superb uh, pool of students. This, I think, can, can bring a lot of opportunities together with the generous funding that the the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation pours into, into it. So I can only expect to, you know, great things happening from, from this opportunity. Here he will think about problems and solutions together with engineers, chemists, and biologists. So uncertainty quantification is an umbrella that covers and uh, sort of brings together scientists from different disciplines. So this for mathematicians is a uh, is a way to get inspired, a way to actually have impact. All of this is present in a large body of faculty that Aachen can provide. Perfect conditions for tackling specialist challenges together with new colleagues and for dealing with the personal tasks in the new environment. Uh, I think it's a challenge, of course, that we learn uh, um, German and uh, I will be embedded in a, in a different culture, so this also is a challenge. We all 
need this growth uh, and uh, sort of faces and challenging. I think it's necessary in life. <laughs>